So in the last video, I talked about comparisons, um, double equal to, um, not equal to, less than, greater than, less than, or equal to, greater than, or equal to. So let's go to Jupyter Notebook and see um, how they actually work. So let me just first enter a markdown cell and type that comparisons. Shift enter comparisons. So we can we can compare different uh, values by first assigning them to variables and then comparing those variables or we can we can compare the values directly. Uh, for example, um, print two is less than three. What do you think? Two is less than three. Um, the result will be what? Remember, the result of a comparison operator is always Boolean. It is either true or false. So in this case, two is smaller than three. So the result will, because this statement is true, so the result will be true and true will be printed. Further, we can store that result in, a, in another variable. For example, two is smaller than three. Whatever the result is, the result will be true. The result will be saved in a variable C if we check the type of C, if we check the type of C, as long as let's print the value of C, so you can see the type of C is Boolean and C in this particular case is true. Moreover, um, for example, let's have uh, 3 equals to 4. Is that true or false? Um, what do you think? Three equals to four. Three e double equals to four. That is false. Three is not equal to four. And let's save this result in uh, D. Remember three double equals to four. That's an operation. The result is false. This equal is an assignment operator that the false value will be assigned to the variable D. And here we can see print D where it is false. Similarly, what do you think? Three double equal to 3.0. What will be the result? Remember three is integer. 3.0 is a floating point number. And I'm comparing three double equals to 3.0. One is integer, another is a floating point number. So what will be the result? Let's see. The result is true uh, because they are comparing the values by discarding the decimal uh, position. Um, further, let's see. Um, three is smaller or equal to, so let's say x is equal to four, y is equal to nine, and z is equal to, let's say, uh, eight point three and uh, r is equal to minus three let's say and these are our variables let's say so what do you think what will be the result here x is smaller than y what will be the result of that x is smaller than y the result will be true and um, z is smaller than z is smaller than y the result is again true because z is smaller than y or um, r r is r is equal to for example x so what do you think what will be the result at the end after this so let's see first first this will be true this will be uh, again true and that is false okay so this true and true will return true and true or anything the result final result is true so this will return ret return true but if i just do if I just switch the order, for example, if I just write this statement, 
which is false this particular statement here and then I do this what will be the result now now see um, x is smaller than y it is true r is equal to x that is false so this result will be false eventually and z is smaller than y that result is z is smaller than y let me just say z is larger than y let me just check z is larger than y z is larger than y just just to just to tell you so this is true this is false both and of these or, or let me let me switch the let me switch the this thing r equals to x i just want to show you the precedence of r and x is smaller than y so now if you see this is false this is true false and true is true true or uh, false and true is false this is also false and the result overall is false it should happen but what if what if this goes first if this goes first i, I mean i want to show you whether and and or which one of them will operate first so in this particular case the result is false but it can happen let me let me tell you this in more uh, and true or false and um, true or false and true what do you think what will be the result here true or false and true if true or false operate operate first if true or false operate first the result will be true true and true the result is true if however let me let me just write a false here if or operates first if or operates first then false or false is false and false and true is the result eventually is false and if and operates first then false and true is false false or false the result in both cases here is is false um, so a better way uh, of uh, of representing these kind of sometimes sometimes they can make confusions uh, sometimes they can be confusions for example um, if you have a true here if you have a false here for example false and true um, uh, how can I so false false and false or true so in this case if uh, in this case if false or true that operate first the result will be true and false and false uh, false and true the result will eventually be false however if and operates first the result will be false here false or true the result will be true so here if and applies if if you apply if and is applied first then the result overall result will be true but if or is applied first then the overall result will be false so it it is it is good to know whether and will be applied first or or will be applied first in this particular case and will be applied first even if you even if you change this even if you change this order for example if you even if you pick this thing and apply here still the result is and will be applied first and or will be applied after it is always good rather than to one way is to remember the precedence and will be applied first then or i mean it is good to think about the precedence another good thing is to specify the order using parentheses for example now we specify this first or will be applied and then for and will be applied so it is good for readability to always apply these parentheses and and check the order in which ands and ors and the combinations will be applied 
So uh, the uh, in a, in any way the result of these comparisons will be booleans. Um, question: What will be the result here? So not two, not equal to three, and true or false and true. See this slide for a while. Even if you want to pause the video, pause the video, see it, and answer. The print will return true or false. Okay, with this question, I end this video. In this particular video, we just saw the comparisons on Jupyter Notebook. Just see how the comparisons return true or, true or false. We combine the different trues and uh, different Boolean uh, values using ands and ors. And here is a question for you. Okay, I will see you in the next video with answer of this question. So I left you with a question in the last video. So that was the question, if you remember. So the question really was, what's the, what's the result here? So what's your answer? True or false? Uh, the result either will be true or false because these are all comparisons and combination of Boolean values. So let's see step by step. First of all, let's see this two is not equal to three. The result is two is not equal to three. Yes, it is true. Two is not equal to three, that's true. So not true, not true is false. So this is false. Uh, so this whole thing is false. Now false and true, false and true, that is false. So this whole thing here till here is false. Now we have or, or, and then we have false and true. Now false and true is false. So this whole thing is false, this whole thing is false and or between. It's false or false, it is false. So the result of this, uh, so, the, so the answer to this question is, is false. Let me, let me just convince you by typing this statement in uh, in Jupyter Notebook. So if you remember, we have print, print not two is not equal to three. And then we were having, I guess, and false. And <clears throat> yeah, that, that was a statement for a different one. And true, sorry. That was and true. So this was and true. Then we were having or. And then we were having these uh, false and true. So the print ends here and the result is, oh, I have some, I have some parenthesis mismatch. So not true and this, okay. I should have this one, I guess. And this goes to there and this goes to there and I guess yes. So the result is false. The result is false. Um, the, the purpose of uh, this question was not just to, uh, the purpose of this question is to appreciate actually the, the fact how we can combine different Boolean values to, to, to achieve the final Boolean value. And these kind of combinations will become very, very helpful further in, in control flow when we will see the if conditions and decision making and stuff. So the answer to this question is false. Um, yeah. And uh, I end this video here. Uh, in the next video, we are going to see some useful functions of Python. Uh, and after seeing the some some kind of useful there are a lot of functions we will see just a few of them very useful of them and after seeing those functions then we will directly jump to control flow basically the if conditions and stuff where you will see these comparisons these boolean values in a much more applicable sense than than earlier so hope to see you in the next video